Hey guys, it's Hayden. Welcome to my latest diecast model review of the Auto Art Lamborghini Aventador LP 720-4, the 50th anniversary model. And I got it in the black shade. A shade called Nero Nemesis in matte. And without further ado, let's look at the stuff. So you're gonna get the model car, of course, and you have a certificate of authenticity. And I got the number one 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 one. And here you're gonna get a piece of instruction, and to avoid uh, damage to your model. So I will read it truly. And lastly, well, actually second last. You are going to get a keychain which features the Dion rim along with a realistic tire tread and a carbon ceramic disc brake matched with a red or actually a orange shade and lastly you have a pamphlet which features a bit of background about the model and this model is comprised of 348 metal and plastic parts and it highlights some of the uh, details, gimmicks that they put on the model and uh, without further ado, let's look at the model itself so just as a quick comparison I have the a quarter size of Anador in orange and you're going to see distinguished uh, features such as a brand new front bumper as well as a brand new rear bumper and it features a full-blown diffuser in the rear which is fantastic so some spots features a brand new logo Right here, you're gonna get a 50th anniversary. Right beside a window, you have uh, like a badge on the real car. It's, uh, I actually found a picture of that. That's how I noticed to figure to check that out as well. And they put it in. And here, the front bumper. And uh, to mark this 50th anniversary, they created uh, a limited run of 100 Wolsters and 100 closed close coupe pace, just such as this, to celebrate uh, their founding moments. And Autoart once again created the uh, Lamborghini in as close to photo. Uh, realistic as they could and there's just a few things I want to point out they uh, omitted a carbon printing on the fence right here and also carbon printing on the door panel and the engine which has I guess the center the center T should have been a bit more glossy but instead it's just a uh, plain carbon printing on the top and uh, what else? I think those were the ones that they missed and because the colors such as the red or the orange is it red? yeah it looks red copper the uh, springs on the on the rear cross push rod suspension those two are optional and they the owners can actually choose those to view the fantastical interior and uh, they don't disappoint it's fully lined on the underneath as well as the front bonnet so here is where most of the money went into this model the 
super awesome V12 sits just right at the right spot and uh, it actually features a fully functional suspension and even on the front it's probably a bit stiff but it works and uh, overall there, there are plenty of uh, metal meshes around the or underneath the different fans on the model I mean Ottawa definitely gave them their best on uh, their Lamborghini releases their Nissan releases, their Porsches so you're not going to uh, regret any of those purchases because they are <laughs> very, very strong pillars of all the watts in terms of the size it, it's actually not that big compared to the McLaren F1 it's just a touch longer yeah I'm really glad I got this color because uh, they have a very high scrap uh, ratio compared to the other colors and uh, it's, it's just awesome to look at and I'll give it some time on the turntable for you guys to enjoy so until then bye bye